Hi guys, Mr. Right here again. Listen, we're going to read a book called Max Found Two Sticks by the author Brian Pickney. Here we go. It was a day when Max didn't feel like talking to anyone. He just sat on his front steps and watched the clouds gather in the sky. A strong breeze shook the tree in front of his house and Max saw two heavy twigs fall. What are you going to do with those sticks? Max's grandfather asked as he washed the front windows. Not saying a word, Max tapped on his thighs. Pat, pat, tat. Putter, putter, pat, tat. His rhythm imitated the sound of the pigeons startled into flight. When Max's mother came home carrying new hats for his twin sisters, she asked, What are you doing with Grandpa's cleaning bucket, son? Max responded by patting the bucket, tap, tap, tap. Tippy tip, tap, tap. He created the rhythm of the light rain falling against the front windows. After a while, the clouds moved on and the sun appeared. Cindy, Sean, and Jamal showed up drinking sodas. Hey Max, what you doing with those hat boxes? Again, Max didn't answer. He played on the boxes. Dum, dum, dee dum, dum. Dee 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 dum dum. Max drummed the beat of the tom-toms in a marching band. up to with those soda bottles? His dad asked as he brought out the garbage cans on his way to work. Max, Max answered on the bottles, dong dang dong. Ding dong ding. His music joined the chiming of the bells of the church around the corner. Soon, the twins came out to show off their new hats. Hey Max, they asked, what are you doing with those garbage cans? Max hammered out a reply on the cans, cling clang da bang. A cling clang da bang. Max pounded out the sound of the wheels thundering down the tracks under the train on which his father worked as a conductor. Boys and girls, does this look like something that you might have seen before? Yeah, you're right. It looks like the subway in the city. This is the F train. Suddenly, Max heard thump dee dump thump, thump dee dee dump thump, as a marching band rounded the corner. Max watched the drummers with amazement as they passed, copying their rhythms. The last drummer saw Max, then with a nod and a wink, he tossed Max's pair set of sticks. I'm sorry, he tossed Max's spare set of sticks. Thanks, called Max, and he didn't miss a beat. Hope you guys enjoy that story.